Welcome to Chris, the show in tune with the culture. Today you are chilling with your boy Luis, so the one I'm here with Sepo, and today we have trusted SLK in the building. Very special guest. What's Shit, up? Shit. I'm good, my dog. How are you hey, doing? Hey, I'm nice. I'm fresh off Cotton Fest. You were there too? Hey, Ntuan, I was the champ. It was a good show. 2022 mm. was really proper. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Really dope. Tri tribute to Ricky. It was yeah. really dope. Um, getting into our first question. Um, I've always wanted to know your beginnings in this music shit. Uh, what was the first verse that you ever wrote as a kid? Do you remember what it was about? Um, <laughs> that was many years ago, first of all. Yeah. Uh, but I remember, man, it was a song called What Comes First. And uh, basically, I was in a crew that time called Swag Babes. Oh, me word? and a fellow female mm. musician. And yeah, it was what basically just because it was our first song, it was basically us just talking about like, it's, it's an introduction. Mm. So you know, it was basically about like, you know, what comes first is a matter of hand, and I'm gonna talk real slow so you understand. Ooh. You know, those basic rhyme schemes, yeah. but it was just an introduction, mm. okay, cool, we're doing this. Mm. Yeah, you were entering the game. Yeah. Mm. Let's talk about it, female rappers. Who's hot, who's not? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's talk about it. Let's open that one up, that bag. Um, well, my favorites mm -hmm. right now, uh, uh, would have to be DK Did It, He's one of my favorites. Yes. Zulu Mecca, definitely. Mm. Um, you know, all the females are grinding. Yeah. Every female is bringing a different flavor. Lash Yankee, shout out to Lash Yankee as well. Mm. Static Flow as well, Venus Raps as well. Mm. Uh, Nazinator, Miss Nazinator. So everybody's bringing their own flavor and I think that's what matters. Yeah, I like that you kept it like in-house, like South African and it's people close to you and around you. Yes. Mm. Do you just keep that energy with everything? Is that like your perspective? Uh, yes, I am an energy person. Um, if we get along, we get along. If we don't, we don't. Mm -hmm. um, but I think everybody that I've met in Joburg so far has been genuine and, and I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've also described your music as being hardcore and gangster. And I wanted to know, in your opinion, who's the most gangster female rapper in the world? Who's Ooh. holding the title? In the like, world? Yeah, yeah, gangster specifically. Um, well, I'd have to give it to Rhapsody. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what I would give it to. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she's, she's also bringing the bars in. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. without fail. But I have to give Chivit to Nicki Minaj as well. Yeah. People yeah. make you feel so bad for thinking Nicki Minaj is dope. dope yeah. And I don't understand yeah. why, because Nicki's dope. Yeah. She might have changed throughout the times, but she held it down. Yeah. Mm. So shout out to Nicki Minaj yeah, as well. Few female artists have had the run that Nicki had. Yeah, exactly. No one. Exactly. Like, no female yeah. rapper has yeah. had the Nicki Minaj bar. Exactly. I just want to be clear on that. That but is But people crazy. make you feel like you. it's a shaky thing to say. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Yeah. No. I want to I I ask a follow-up question. Mm. Because on your SoundCloud, you describe yourself as the dopest female rapper in CPT. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you've conquered your hometown? Like. You know they say that you have to conquer your hometown to go. <laughs> Do you feel like you've done that? I think I've done that. Yes. Um, I've performed at all the big events. Mm. Um, I pretty much know everyone. Yeah. And you must understand, when I won the sporting competition, I was battling national, all, oh, nine, yeah. Yeah. all nine provinces, and That's I won true. fair and square. Yeah. Yeah. When I was doing one mic, doing my battle cap, mm. uh, battle cap things, it was nationally, it wasn't yeah. Cape Town. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think I can, I can say that I've conquered my hometown yeah, based on those two accolades exactly exactly <laughs> Let, let's talk about it actually there's a video posted on sports scenes website we had said so right yeah music video it's hot thank you it's hot thank you and you got the mercedes slk in there yes sir let's talk about your rap name where did that come from so um back in high school i used just to be slk because those are my initials mm -hmm. first name second name third name i'm yeah. the only female at home so everybody wanted a piece of me <laughs> so that's I've got three names and then when I when I finished my trick mm -hmm. I wanted my first offering to be called the trusted tape mm -hmm. oh yeah. but then I decided okay cool there's a Mercedes SLK mm -hmm. I want people when they google me to find me mm -hmm. so I kind of merged the trusted the SLK and I mean I believed in myself from that point on but now you know what I'm the trusted one yeah and I don't think I would have made it this far if I didn't trust myself so early yeah so the trusted is about being chosen yes and I like the fact that it links up with like Mercedes you know what I'm yes. saying it's got that class German, German engineering Two door. not too many people in the yeah. car yeah. space hey you know who's sponsoring you <laughs> <laughs> come on guys that's the plan that's the plan yeah, yeah. they and can't sleep you know continuing on e Yateta. Um, you know, produced by Tweezy, legendary mm. producer. Mm. Um, and I know that you've mentioned that Vele, the song is about the haters. Yes. You know, Uti Vele, Vele Uti. Yes. Um, can you break that down, Vele, that session when you were like, you know what, yeah. 
He's, you know, these haters, man, they got to chill. You know what? That, special, uh, that session, sorry, yeah. uh, was very special to me because I've always been an English rapper. Mm -hmm. Because I feel I'm, ly I'm lyrically stronger in English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I won't lie. Tweezy was like, yo, bro, your English is cute. Yeah. But I want a closer hook. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He literally instructed me. He was yeah. like, yo, bro, I hear you English, English, cute, yeah. dope, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But I want a closer hook because that's yeah. your home language. Yeah. Mm. And if you can have a good hook in your home language, that's 50% of the job done. Mm. Yeah. Now you just have the other 50% to yeah. focus on. Yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. Like, okay, you know, let's try it out. And as the beat played, that's, that's what came to mind. Mm. Yeah. So I think if Tweezy hadn't given me that solid piece of information, mm. That song would not have been a banger. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. won't even cap. Yeah, shout out to collaborators, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And, and shout friends. out to producers that are actually present in a session. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, actually, uh, you speak a lot about this. Uh, we, we were chatting a bit earlier, work ethic and work yes, rate. Yes, yes. What is it like for you when you go into a studio session? Like, what kind of environment do you prosper in? What kind of environment do you dodge? Um, well, when I'm in, so music is my work. Yeah. Right? It's my it's, sponge. It's a job. It's my job. Mm. So when I enter in the studio, I expect us to put that laptop on, play some beats, mm. put that fruity on. I was even telling somebody yesterday that I can't listen to music sitting down. Mm. If, if you play me a beat and I'm sitting down, you must just know I'm not feeling it. <laughs> you understand what I'm Damn. saying? You get me? Yeah. I need to stand up. Yeah. When I stand up, I can now, okay, feel the vibrations. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I, I, I respect a healthy, music-focused in studio vibe. I don't like the drinking in studio, mm. smoking in studio. Uh, we can get to know each other. I don't mind us talking just yeah, to get to know each other. Yo, in. nice to meet you, talk, blah, 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 blah. Mm. But the whole playful thing, ish, it frustrates me. Yeah, so it's it's like if you can't retain your focus, don't hit you up. Don't yeah. hit me up. Yeah. Don't hit you up on Because you're gonna think I'm a diva, but I'm not being a diva. I just feel like my time has been wasted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, you respect your craft to that high level where you can't waste time in studio just having chats about nothing. Yeah. 100%. And, yeah, and it happens a lot with musicians where you, you'll, you'll be around them and the whole chat in the studio or in the session is focused on, you know, I'm going to drop this EP in three months' time and it's going to be... But bro, we're in studio. We're in studio now. We're making music we're right now. We're cooking. Yeah, you yeah. can't be talking about tomorrow's dish. Facts. Let's cook this one. Yeah, Facts. Yeah, Facts. Yeah. And I do want to segue onto, you know, speaking of your hustle, your Meaningful Hustle EP. Mm -hmm. And before we get into that, I want to ask about one specific song, the Zwada. Mm -hmm. you know, you're referencing probably like one of my favorite like oh. SA hip hop songs ever. Oh. Honestly, I think one of the best SA hip hop songs. Thank ever. you. So, how did that come about? What's your relationship with the song? And yeah. First of all, thank you, thank you on his behalf because I'm saying thank you like it's my yeah. yeah so thank you on Kuli Chana's behalf. Um, mm -hmm. He actually performed it yesterday oh, at, yeah, at Cotton yeah. Fest, and I was just like, oh. so um, I'm a I'm a hip hop head man, and I wanted something nostalgic mm -hmm. on my tape. And I was working with a very uh, um, dope producer. And when he played that beat, mm. I was just like, there's no ways. It's actually one of the songs that I had to write a verse in studio mm -hmm. and then go home and rest. Yeah. And rest and rest and rest and then yeah. come back for That's the second verse. Mm. And then go rest. I actually had a, th well, nobody knows this, but I actually had a third verse as well wow. on the joint. But then I didn't think I, it was hard enough. So yeah. I was just like, you know what, ah. because I had yeah. to yeah. bring my uh, A game. So, yeah, it was just my connection with the song. Um, I recently also just moved to Joburg and I fell in love with the Sutu language. Yeah. So I decided, okay, let me actually just try and kind of merge the Sutu and the Zulu uh, and the Kosa. Yeah. So Tswada is one of my favorites. The, the, the people love Tswada. Yeah, that beat is crazy. Mm. I've been trying to get Kuli Chana to jump on it, um, but I think maybe he's too busy. I uh, know, yeah. we'll keep pushing. We'll keep, we'll keep pushing. pushing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And, um, and yeah, then so going back to Meaningful Hustle, mm. you know, interesting name. Um, you know, we were speaking about your hustle and the things that you beam through in the industry. Mm. Explain, break that name down for the fans. Like, what does the meaningful hustle mean to you? Well, um, I had a friend, right, in varsity. And uh, she, you could say she saw my come up because we met in first year. And she was with me throughout till I left varsity, mm. right? So she, she saw it all happen. Yeah. She'd come with me to all my gigs. Mm. She'd come to me, she'd see all the flops. She'd see all the disrespect. Mm -hmm. She'd see all the respect. And one day she was like, bro, your, your hustle is meaningful, dog. Mm, yeah. People have a lot of, everybody's hustling. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. Every, the word is used very loosely these days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the reason I chose to call my EP Meaningful Hustle is because my hustle is meaningful. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I, I, like I said earlier on, every day I make sure I contribute to my hustle. Not a day goes by yeah. mm -hmm. without a contribution. Yeah. So when I was putting that body of work together, I was just trying to basically give, a piece, uh, give people a piece of how they can kind of channel their energy to focus on what they want mm. to do mm. yeah. or what they want the outcome to be, yeah. Yeah. you know? Yeah. Out, I, feel like the out, I feel like, you know, the outcome is in your hands, guys. Yeah, you have the it's power. It's in nobody else's hands. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 So that's how that name came about. Yeah, yeah. You're giving, you're giving us the, the commandment, man. Thou shalt not hustle in vain. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Thou shalt not hustle in vain. Because yeah. oh, people man. talk, 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 blah, 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 I'm doing this, I'm doing that, but what's, we don't see it. Yeah, yeah what's you, don't going see, on? you don't see the fruit. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. And that will always tell you what's going on. Yeah. 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 And so, getting to Meaningful Hustle and onwards, um, let us know what SLK's future has in store for herself and her fans. Um, well, I'm trying to... I, I actually host events as well mm -hmm. uh, because I think everybody's amazing. So I would actually love to introduce my people to everybody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Um, so more of my events are going to be popping. And I actually want to, I want to tour. I want to leave South Africa. Yeah. yeah. And go capture or go snatch more souls outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think that's definitely on my trusted SLK agenda. Yes. I'm also in studio working on an album now. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. It's actually also frightening. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting, but it's also frightening. Why, why frightening? What's going on with that? It's frightening because as a musician, well, as a, music, a musician like myself, you don't want to lose your essence. Mm -hmm. So you start asking yourself, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am uh, I saying? Yeah. Am I a bubblegum rapper? Mm. Am I conscientizing? Yeah. Am I making hardcore music? Am I doing gangster rap? Mm. Am I doing boom bap? Mm. So, you, so you it's always a process of checking yourself to see whether you're in line with what you stand for. Yes. Mm. That's beautiful. Yes. That your yes. actions are lining up with your words also. 100%. Mm. I feel like that's why, that's why so many rappers sign deals mm. and then they sign away the first five albums of you know, their careers. Yeah. Can't you, those first five oh, are the wow. best. Yeah, yeah, that's wow. everything. After yeah. five, it's like, okay, cool, now you've <laughs> yeah. been in the system for too long. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's why they're always crying about their masters because it's just like those what five albums were the ones. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They're like the important place. It's, it's really cool to hear that you're working on something. Like, uh, are you going to be playing it anytime soon? Do we have any dates that we can be expecting it? Of course. I'm always operating, Chief. Mm. Um, even now, uh, month end, I have, a, I have three gigs, actually, on, on one day. Yeah. Uh, one is in Maboneng LGBTQ plus community. Mm -hmm. um, the other one is in Cosmo City. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be my first time in Cosmo City. And then the other one is in Alexandria as well. Yeah. So I'm always on the move. I'm, my, host, my, my own event is on the 30th of May yeah. in Greenside, Velvet Hour. Oh, mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be a jump. It's called Velvet Sundays. Oh, dope. So it's a jump. It Maybe I might just, you know. Really if you love your life. Just, if you love your life. I love my life. So <laughs> I might just, you know, you know what? I just want to ask you just one last thing, right? Uh, I know I'm kind of hopping on what he said, but five years, where are you? Five years, that's a very good question. It's, it's important to say it out as well. Five years. Hmm. Five years, I should be in a Merc, first of all. Let's just get that yeah. out of the way. Yeah. Um, I should be living comfortably. Mm -hmm. um, I should be um, financially stable. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I hope I'm still true to my core. Yeah. Still trying to uplift other upcoming rappers. Yeah. Mm. Uh, still keeping a good head on my shoulders. Yeah. Um, and yeah, still just keeping good vibes. Mm. I can't really say... I, 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 I'd rather say in the next five years, I hope to still be in my essence. Yeah. Let me not worry about everything else. Because I feel like if I'm in my essence and I'm one with myself, everything, everything else will align. Will align. Yeah. Oh, man. I love, I love artists. <laughs> no, just, just trust me on this. I love people who are themselves and are willing to back themselves beyond anything else going out on outside of them. Yeah. It's, it's a unique trait. It's a powerful trait. Yeah. And with that, uh, please just let us know where we can check out your music and where we can follow you. Right there. Uh, so, like I said, um, I'm the trusted SLK. Mm -hmm. T-R-U-S-T-E-D and SLK like the Mercedes. All social platforms, guys. Please give me a follow. I'm working hard. And I promise you will not regret it. Yeah. 
All right, and that has been the show for today. Guys, please be sure to comment and like. Tell us what you liked and what you enjoyed and what you didn't as well. We like feedback. Join in on the conversation. This was Trusted SLK with me, Luis Odawan, and Seppo. And we out.